Holy Wire Mod here. It's going to be tutorial 13, the Expression 2 series, where I'm covering NPC control. So let's start by getting int of type entity. And we're going to need an if first else dupe statement, or, or dupe statement. All right. And we're going to be using that find command. You remember last time in uh, video 4E, we used find by model. Well, instead, we're going to use find by class, in which we're going to ser uh, search for the class zombie. And that first result, or first find, or, well, there's only going to be one find in this case. That find result is going to be associated to the entity. So, you know, by default, zombies don't normally like you, and they start swinging. So let's change that. So I'm going to say entity NPC relationship. You can either do it to a specific entity, such as the owner, or you can do it to a whole class of uh, entities. I'm going to put class player, and then I'm going to set it to like that. And this is going to be, this number right here is a priority between 0 and 1,000. Um, it's the priority of the command. I'm going to put 1 because I don't really care right now. Now, instead of just making it like one uh, NPC or one type of NPC, you can make it like all of your NPCs by putting relationship to, let's say, let's see, relationship by owner. And I'll say every NPC that I own, which I, the owner expression to chip own, I'm going to set that zombie to like it and I'll put a priority of 1,000. So let's print now the relationship, just so you can see. And I'll show you how to get the relationship. That's our relationship, right? Relationship. All right, to owner. And then we will put entity, NPC discipline, or disp owner disposition, maybe. Who knows what this stands for? All right, so. Let's get that going. Notice it says nothing right now because I have no entity targeted. So we're going to need to go and grab zombie. Now I paste it again and it says relationship to owner like. Good. That's what we want. So, and as you can see, if I spawn like a citizen or something like that, normally it's going to hate it. But since I put that uh, relationship to owner command in, it's not going to go and attack this citizen because the citizen's owned by me. Poor zombie. We'll remember you well. So anyway, let's go grab another zombie. And we'll get it to like me again. Now let's get this zombie to go do some things. So, just to keep things simple, every five seconds I'm going to get the zombie to do something. So let's say if in the condition that I, the owner, am crouching, Then we want the zombie to stop dead in its tracks, so we'll put NPC stop. Else, I want that zombie to walk towards me, so we're going to say NPC go. You can either put go run or go walk, it doesn't matter for a zombie because they move the same speed either way. So go walk or go run, and we're going to put it to not my entity position, we're going to put it to my position, so every five seconds it's going to walk towards me. Unless I'm crouching, then it's going to stop. So there it is one, two, three, four, five, and all that nonsense. And here it comes. And another five seconds, I'm going to be crouching, and it's going to do absolutely nothing. And that's what we want. Cool. All right, so now in addition to stopping, let's say I want it to actually look at me. So we're going to put NPC face. And I'm going to put the position that I want to look at at this map, which is going to be my owner position in this case, for this example. So now, every five seconds, instead of walking, it's going to turn and face me. Like so. Alright. Now that's cool and all, but what if we wanted to actually go attack? And we can do this. Very simple. But I'm going to integrate a timer into this. Say timer. And we're going to give a name to that timer. We're going to call it a timer attack. That way, if we want to reference it later, we can simply say attack. And that timer is going to count to 1.5 seconds and then uh, trigger the expression to code. Right? So then, when that happens, I want the entity to set its target as me. So 
I'm going to show you what that does real quick. And um, also, before I exit, I'm going to say click attack, which is saying if this expression 2's current execution was run because of this timer attack right here, then I'm going to say print attacking and I'm going to say who the NPC is attacking. So I'm going to get the target of that NPC. And since it outputs an entity and we're trying to get this in string form, we need the name of that NPC. Alright, and last but not least, to get this attack done, we'll put NPC attack. And that should be everything we need to get a successful attack. Oh, made a little mistake. Alright, cool. So, uploaded it. It should be walking towards me every five seconds. Alright. Otherwise, when I'm crouching, now it's gonna stop, look at me, and it says attacking holy in the text box. And it'll keep doing that so long as I keep crouching because it's gonna um, run through this execution. Notice I am crouching, see the timer trigger it again and cause a second and third attack and whatnot. Alright, so we're not always going to be dealing with a zombie, so what about if we're dealing with a citizen or something that can actually use a weapon? So we can actually say NPC give weapon, and by default it's going to give an SMG. Otherwise we can type crowbar or something, or, but let's give our zombie an RPG, because we're nuts like that. And as you can see our zombie has an RPG. Now, when I do this and it goes to attack, it still uses its melee. That's because it's using int NPC attack, whereas if I used NPC shoot, which requires you actually use the appropriate NPC, not a zombie, and all this stuff, um, it's going to shoot that RPG at whatever it's targeting. So that goes over the basics that you need to know with um, NPC control. Um, other than that, you're going to have to kind of understand how the NPC works, because not all of them act the same. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know. Toodles.